Start recording. Stop recording. Oh, good afternoon, button. ladies and gentlemen. I uh, hope everybody's doing well today. Stop Robert recording. And button. Nikki here. And, uh, anyways, you want to tell us how your uh, day's going? Or? Well, um, last night I couldn't fall asleep until like 2 something in the morning, so I got up for my staff. Uh huh. I had my staff and then I went back to bed until uh. right before you called, actually. No kidding. Okay. I, we could have done them at another time. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were sleeping. That's okay. I actually just got up right before you called. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Well, Okay. Any good plans for the weekend? Are you going to see Mike this weekend? We're planning on getting together, yeah. That's good. You're going to go to his place or no? He's coming over here. Tonight? I don't... We haven't decided. Mm hmm Well, that's cool. I took my call when I got back, when I got up. Gotcha. Um, cool. So, today has been, you guys, pretty uneventful for me. Just relaxing. I ordered a pizza and six Dr. Peppers in 20-ounce bottles. And just chilling. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. How about you? What did you have for lunch? So what happened that you couldn't fall asleep? Huh? What happened that you couldn't fall asleep? I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Just sometimes I have those nights, you know? Right. So, I have a very interesting twist of events to tell you all. Kind of sad, despite the fact uh, of the person we're talking about here. Alert. Low battery. So, I'm sure you all remember Matt. I mean, not Matt. Yes. Whatever his name is. Uh, see, he's so not important. No. Uh, James. Right? Lin yeah. Lindsay's... Uh, the guy who Lindsay has been dealing with for a while. <clears throat> and as you all know, he was in jail. I say was because I got a call from Matt this morning. I don't know who gave him my number. I, I don't have a problem with him. I just don't know who gave my number. Maybe James did. I don't know. I got a call from Matt this morning. I almost said James. Uh, I, I got a call from Matt this morning and... Uh, it was about, oh, five o'clock this morning. I was up anyway. I, uh, I got up pretty early this morning. Um, and Matt told me that uh, James um, took a bunch of pills and went bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Now, I don't have answers. Like, I know maybe some of you are wondering, well, how did he get access to pills? Um, I don't know. All I know is he took 30 Vicodins. I don't even know what Vicodin's for. But somehow he got a hold of... Oh, it's a pain pill? Okay. So he took 30 Vicodins and in his cell. Somehow he got a hold of them and he didn't make it. So that's that. Um, despite the fact that, you know, that he was a jerk, I don't... It's terrible whenever somebody dies. Unless they're like a mass murderer. Right? Um, you know, unless they're like a murderer, but he didn't murder anyone or kill anyone. And he just had a lot of problems. Um, so, uh, that's the update with that. So, unfortunately, he committed suicide. Um, so, yeah, I was 
despite the fact of the <sighs> jerk he was, I'm still sorry that he did that to himself. I'm not sure why he did it. Um, some people s say that it might be because he couldn't get Lindsay back. Um, I don't know. But what I'll say is this. If that was in fact the case, let's just, we don't know. But if that was in fact the case, I want to say this to you guys. Don't commit suicide over your ex. Your ex is not worth it. You know, there's other, there's other fish in the sea, you know. I know he really wanted to get back with Lindsay, you know, and everything. I understand that. But she didn't want to get back with him and he wasn't accepting that. Um, and that's another thing I want to say here is uh, if your ex doesn't want to get back with you, despite how you're feeling, you have to accept that. Do you have anything to say about all this or no? Well, on the one hand, it is very sad. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, she does not have to worry about him anymore. Exactly. Yep. And, um... That's just a tell marker, don't worry about that. And, uh, yeah, she is happy. I mean, she's sad that he killed himself. But, she's also, um, happy that, um, she doesn't have to deal with him anymore. Right. Yeah. So that's that. So no more James. Everybody's sad, but like you said, at least she doesn't have to worry about him anymore. Obviously, I feel bad for his family. What did you say? Obviously, I feel bad for his family. Yeah. Right. And um, I know he told some of his friends about my channel. Um... Because he liked my he liked my videos. He just never subscribed to my he didn't subscribe to my channel for some reason. Maybe he didn't know how. Well, of course he knows how. That's yeah, it's sight. Um, but he always wa enjoyed watching my videos, and so he told his friends about my videos. Because he told me he told them, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so if his if any of his friends are watching right now, or if Lindsay's listening to this video right now. Would you have anything to say to them, or no? Just, okay, if his friends are watching, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, if Lindsay's listening, um, I'm sorry that he did this, but at least you don't have to worry about him anymore. Right. You know, it's always horrible when someone commits suicide. You know, it It really is. Yeah. The only time I wouldn't feel sorry if, is if, like, they were a murderer or something. Or if they did someone terrible to somebody, you know. Like, killed them. But, uh, you know, he wasn't a bad person. He just had problems. So, I am sorry. So, yeah. But we'll continue to update you guys about how Lindsay's doing. But, yeah. Anyways, um, do you have anything else to say or talk about? Not really. Alright, do you want to recommend some channels or? Sure. Please check out my channel. That's N-I-K-K-I-W-U-N-D-E-R-L-I-C-H. Please check out Molly Burke. She's a motivation. She's a blind YouTuber. She's a motivational speaker, and she has a guide dog named Gala. And please check out um, Live Accessible. Um, and please check out Depression to Expression. That's a great YouTube channel for people with depression, anxiety, or mental illness in general. And I'll let Thomas recommend while the app for rest. All right. Please check out Patty Mayo's channel. Please check out uh, Live Accessible. 
please check out um, Candid Mommy's channel. She's a she's a new one I just discovered. She's not a YouTuber, but she's um, a YouTuber I discovered. She's very good. That's Candid Mommy. Um, and she's very good. And she has two kids. And she has a boyfriend. She's divorced. She has a dog. I don't know what kind of dog, but he's 14 and a half. Um, and she's kind of like a vlogger, I guess. So she's good. Who else? Um, did you do Lawn Boy? No. No. Alright, please check out Lawn Boy 8461's channel. And please, did you do Depression too? No. Yes. Alright. And check out Yellow Brick Cinema. Yellow Brick Cinema is a great YouTube channel. You can listen to different music, like music for deep sleep, music for meditating and studying. And please like and subscribe to my channel. And always feel free to leave a, uh, leave comments down below. Anyways. Don't forget Patty Mayo. What happened? Don't forget Patty Mayo. I did Patty Mayo. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, anyways... We'll see you guys tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Uh, my time, 1 o'clock, Nikki's time. And um, y'all take care.